right. Today's episode of Anime vs. Manga, we're going to be talking about Fruits Basket. So on today's show, I have a friend with me. This is Tomaki Bear. Tomaki Bear saying hi to the little rice ball. He's just a Anyway, we're going to be talking about Fruits Basket. Now, the Fruits Basket age seems like forever ago, but for me, it's still fresh in my heart, and I just wanted to talk about it. Now, Fruits Basket only got one season of the show, and the show only consisted of six books. So it didn't continue through the entire series, which means that most likely it ended differently than the book, which it did. It left out a lot of characters, so there wasn't an opportunity to get to know all of the Zodiac figures. But first, let's talk the book. Okay, so I have the entire collection of Fruits Basket because Fruits Basket was the first manga that I ever read and I would order them online or when Borders was still around I would go to Borders and get them there. So here I have with me 1 through 6 and 1 through 6 basically covers the entire first anime season of Fruits Basket. So here I have the cover art for the first book and this is uh, the main character Toru Honda on it. So you can see the art style is already dramatically different from the manga versus the anime. Um, it's very similar, but in the anime it's a lot more clean than the um, first couple books. Because with any manga artist, they start off with a certain art style and then it changes over time as their craft gets perfected. Now with this graphic artist, she actually broke her hand halfway through the series and had to learn how to redraw with using her left hand. So her art style did change and I brought a cover to sh kind of show the difference. This is the last book, book 23 of the series. So you can kind of see the dramatic difference between this first one and this last book here. So you can compare and see how the lines are a lot cleaner than this one and you can clearly see more detail and um, this one definitely looks a lot more 90s anime versus this one where this one looks more modern. Now I liked all her art styles so this didn't really affect me. I did notice a difference when reading like in terms of shading. She used different techniques and stuff like that. So I'm just gonna flip through a couple pages so if you haven't read it then this is the spoiler section. So. I don't even know why you're here if you don't want no spoilers because I'm going to be talking about it. But anyway, so I'm just going to flip through a couple pages here. So this is kind of what it looks like, the first page. You can see the drawing styles here and then compared to something like this. So it's very different. Um, but I like it, and I liked seeing her progress, and I think that um, it makes the anime and manga, or the manga specifically, even more special um, that she broke her hand and she continued to write and learn how to redraw specifically for this manga. So, I mean, that's pretty amazing, if you ask me. If you want to purchase any of these Fruits Basket books um, new, I'm sorry to say, that they don't make them anymore. And I just found this out maybe a year or so ago, but Tokyo Pop went out of business, I guess, a couple years ago. So they no longer publish Fruits Basket. So if you wanted to buy Fruits Basket, you would have to get it from someone who previously owned it. Now I know that they have it online probably somewhere, um, but if you wanted a hard copy, unfortunately, they don't make them anymore, so they might be a little hard to come by. But luckily, I bought all of them, so I don't have to worry about that. Ever. And I said before, the anime only covers about book six. So book six is the one with the Momiji on the cover. Um, so the ending is very different. Uh, it goes, it's pretty accurate. The, ma the anime is very accurate with, um, in regards with the manga. It follows everything almost to the exact specifications. So where it falters, uh, just my opinion. The ending, this is a spoiler warning. Okay, so uh, the ending of Fruits Basket, the last episode, Toru goes to Akito to try to mend things over, because Akito basically tried to 
get Toru to hate the Somas and to leave and to never want to come back and force her memory to be erased because he was so angry with her that she was getting along and helping them and he wanted to be the one noticed and being of help. So she went to Akito and, you know, faced him and confronted him and wanted to heal that wound that was in his heart. So, you know, with all the events that transpire, it appears that she does help Akito in some way. So then the anime just ends with Toru leaving the Soma family estate with Shigure and Hatori and Yuki and Kyo is waiting for her um, outside and then they kind of just all walk in the distance back home. Yeah, so that's just kind of how it ends. Um, and for the fact that they didn't go into the full manga kind of makes me upset, but at the same time, I'm happy with the way they ended it, knowing that they only had one season. You know what I mean? Um, because in the manga, you know, we have all these other characters that we didn't get to be introduced, like Rin and, um, Bird Guy, whatever his name is. I don't remember. Uh, it's been a while since I've read that deep into the, um, anime. And then the whole storyline with Akito is also not exposed, um, where Akito's really a woman and she's pretending being a man because her mother thought that she should because she's the god per se of the family and she should be perceived as male. So Akito was one of my favorite characters from the beginning before I even um, finished the series. I was so um, curious about him as a person and what he was hiding and I felt like he had so much uh, depth to him but it wasn't explained. So when at the end of the manga when it was finally all, when it finally all came out, I was like, oh my gosh. And then when I found out that her and Shigure were like a thing, I was like, yes! I, like, I ship it so hard. They're my favorite couple, I think, in the entire manga, Shigure and Akito. Because I think they just perfectly balance each other out. Because Akito's kind of a hard ass. And then Shigure is this like light, fun-loving adult. But he can also be really serious when he chooses to be... He's also a little bit of a jerk, but she's also a jerk, so it works out. Um, yeah, so I think that's just kind of my assessment of the anime and manga. There's really... I wasn't disappointed at all. The artwork stayed true. Um, I do say that in terms of story plot, the manga is way, way better for story plot because it just goes more in depth and you get to meet all of the Zodiac animals and all of their backgrounds, you get to know them, and how they intertwine into the Soma curse, and uh, how Toru eventually um, gets rid of the Soma curse. And it's just really interesting how one person, this Toru, can change all of their lives. So I definitely suggest it, and yeah, I mean, that pretty much wraps it up. So if you liked this video, leave me a comment below. And like and subscribe if you want to see more. And let me know in the comments what other anime and manga series you want me to kind of go over and have my opinion on. So anyway, let me know. And thanks for watching Rice Balls. I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Are you going to say goodbye to our guests? It's going to be like that. <laughs>